Hello and welcome to Monday, August 30th. We are restarting our strength cycle. You're gonna see the 543, 543, 543 rep scheme again, starting at 50%. If some people PR'd in the last few weeks, they could use their new one rep. If they did not, um, hopefully they've been logging things in SugarWad and they can keep track. Big thing is to remind them that the first 543 is truly a primer and we're not trying to win Sugar Wad on that first round. Otherwise, they may not be able to actually find that two, three rep at the end. So every two minutes for nine sets, that's 18 minutes, five, four, three, five, four, three, five, four, three, power snatch. I think it's fun on the higher reps to maybe teach a little bit of a touch and go, just to kind of give them a chance to actually practice barbell cycling without it being in an AMRAP. Um, but Everybody's obviously welcome to do singles, especially those more focused on their strength. For your super newbies at Native, we've been having just super new people walk in. A power snatch from the ground might be a little bit difficult. So I may add some reps and do something from the hang, maybe like an eight, six, four hang power snatch or something like that, just where they can get a little bit more practice with less weight. So that's 18 minutes and then you move into a real quick AMRAP. Nine minutes, three toes bar, 30 unbroken double unders. It looks simple, but the reps are going to add up quickly on the toes to bar. 30 minutes of total work tomorrow. So that leaves you 30 minutes of prep time. I think it's a great day to really get the shoulders, T-spine all warmed up. With that being said, a lot of times when we start to do all that stretching stuff, it gets a little bit boring. So maybe try to create a little bit of a circuit with, you know, some banded stretches and then maybe work on, you know, some hinging or jumping drills. Try to find something a little bit new, a little bit more creative to warm up for our power snatches. For the AMRAP, since we do have a lot of time, you could really dig into some toes bar and even some jump rope practice. A lot of times, um, when I have a lot of time, I can actually go over double unders. And really, that would help you warm up for your power snatch too. Just with the shoulders, a little bit of jumping, getting our blood flow and all that jazz. Let's try to have them pick a toes to bar option that they can sustain, you know, for even 12 reps in a row. Toes to rings are going to be a great option. Toes to almost bars are okay. Maybe even like a knees to elbow, something like that. And then if people um, have a hard time with their hands, hands ripping, candlesticks, GHDs, a weighted sit up, something like that. For the double unders, we're trying to go unbroken for those of them doing pro or RX. You could obviously scale it down to 20, 10. You could use the fat ropes or single unders if needed. So lots of time, come with the plan, fill up your time. These are 60 minute classes. So try to make it the full 60 minutes. Have a great day.